Hello YouTube, BioLizard1 here and welcome to another Pokemon Black and White narrated Wi-Fi battle and today I'm gonna bring you a UU match against Major Maru or Major Maju. I kind of forgot about his name but I think it sounded a bit like this. Anyway, this is a UU match. As you can see I'm using my old school UU team, at least the UU team I used in my previous UU battle and he's just using a pretty nice balanced team of underused Pokemon. So it's definitely gonna be a good match. It's also gonna be a long match. Don't be scared by the time limit it's 18 minutes so if you're up for a good match then I can assure you this is one. As seen in the T preview my opponent is going to lead off with Mew and I'm just gonna lead off with my regular lead which is Nido Queen. I predicted him to go into Zatu so that's why I went for a Dragon Tail because I didn't want those tail trucks to bounce into my direction. So that's why I just went for that Dragon Tail thinking that he might not Thinking he might set up Steltrux of his own using his Bastodion, I just decided to set, uh, set up Steltrux now, but this turn he decides to switch out into Zatu, which kinda sucks for me, because when Zatu is on his team, he will always threaten me out with the magic bounce, so that is just not a comfortable position I'm in. I'm just gonna switch out into Shaman, because I kinda thought that this guy would not hurt me, because most of the Zatus have Psychic instead of Air Slash or something like that, so I figured, hey, Shaman might take it. And I'm just gonna go for a Seeds Flare straight off the bat because I thought he might switch out again. And this actually did this much because I got a critical hit because I'm pretty much aware that Zatu is not very affected by Grass type move due to the fact that he's part flying. But I thought it switched out so therefore I did not go for Hidden Power Ice. I'm gonna go for it now but he still stays in and I'm a bit afraid that this on this very turn he's gonna start roosting up and he's gonna start stalling me out. Um, normally I would use Lead Cheat, but due to the Magic Bounce I cannot do that. I just went for it now because I thought after one Roost he would switch out, but he's not gonna do that. So like I said before, I'm not in a very comfortable position with Xatu out on the field, because this guy can always threaten me out with the Magic Bounce and that is just not a good position. I'm gonna switch into Slowbro now. Um, he's gonna stay in because he knows that he has me locked in. So I know that Slowbro can threaten him out with a Skult, but actually I'm not carrying Skult and I'm not carrying Regenerator either. This is my special Slowbro that is especially there for countering with champs, which are very common in the underused metagame. So I'm just gonna stay in and I'm just gonna keep spamming Surf, he's gonna keep spamming Nightshade, and um, yeah, sometimes I just went for a slack off because I don't want my Slowbro to die this early in the game, it can still be of great use. So yeah, that is just what's going to happen now. It's kind of a stalwart already in the beginning of the match and I don't like this at all. He's going to switch out into Mirage again, his Mew. And I was fearing that he would go for uh, maybe a Taunt or um, a Will-O-Wisp again. So, and, and I haven't seen the other moves that this uh, Mew has. So it might be Soft Boiled or Roost and Psychic, but I'm not sure, so I'm not going to take any risk. I'm going to go into Rotom now, while he's going to set up Steltrox. Not really sure why he did that. After the match, he said it was a misclick, which is understandable, because due to Magic Bounce, Steltrox were already up. So now I'm here with Rotom sitting in. He's going to switch out into Flygon, and I actually went for a Thunderbolt. And since my Rotom is, um, should be Scarfed, actually, but in this uh, team it isn't, I'm going to be able to get off another move. I thought he would overpredict and go for a U-turn, so that's why I stayed in and went for a Stab Overheat. In addition, he gets a critical hit, because, and I really thought I would be able to live that even due um, Stone Edge is super effective. But if you guys have seen my previous battle, then you saw that a Heracross with Choice Band did not, uh, a Heracross with Choice Scarf was not able to finish me off with a Stone Edge. So I think that crit really mattered. Anyway, back to the game. I'm gonna be leading off with Machamp right now. I'm just gonna go for a Dynamic Punch because I know it will do good damage to, um, to Hitmontop anyway. So Hitmontop is just being silly now, he's confused and the only thing that bothers me is he got that Intimidate up which means that Machamp's attack is lowered by one stage and that is kind of going to be crucial because instead of Dynamic Punch being a 2 hit KO on this Hitmontop it's going to be a 3 hit KO so I'm not really fond of that and in addition he's going to snap out of his confusion on turn 2 so things aren't looking too good for me right now 
I already made some bad over predictions in the beginning of this match and he's just making the right decisions getting a crit here and there so things are just working out smoothly for him I'm just gonna stay in with my champ keep spamming that um, that dynamic punch because uh, yeah I will get some recovery with my leftovers um, and now he's gonna switch back into Mirage. I don't want my Machamp to get uh, Psychic to death or get Will-O-Wisp to death. So I'm just gonna switch out into Needy Queen because I predicted him to go for a Will-O-Wisp again. But once again, I over-predict wrong. And um, I'm still I'm still getting along with this uh, underused metagame because, yeah, it's... At this point, it's not... Excuse me. It's not working out so great for me at all. He's gonna switch back into his Zatu. I'm gonna switch out knowing that I will be killed when I come in due to the stealth rocks. I'm just here with Spiritomb sitting here. He's gonna switch out and at this kind of moment you really do regret that you don't have Pursuit on Spiritomb. Anyway, I'm just gonna go for Shadow Sneak, predicting him to go into Mew, but with a choice band I was expecting him uh, to do more. So the thing I should have done right here is go for a trick, which is another bad decision on my part. Now I'm just going to switch out into Nido Queen, predicting him to go for a Wild Wisp, and now I predict uh, correctly, and I'm just going to die due to the burn next turn. So that means I will have a free switch in. So Nido Queen is dead. He, she actually didn't do a lot in this game, and I'm just going to go into Shaman. Shaman being at full health, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be able to take anything that this mute throws at me. So I'm just going to go for a Hidden Power Ice, predicting Zatu to come in, and that's what happens. Here comes Zatu, and Hidden Power Ice is not going to do that much at all. And um, yeah, now I predict him to go for another screens, but um, unfortunately for me, I cannot use Lead Sheet due to the magic bounce. And here is a moment in the game where things could have gone uh, totally different for some odd reason, at least I think this is the moment. I'm gonna go for a substitute or for a dynamic punch, I'm not really sure. Uh, let me check. It's been a while since I had this match, you guys, so forgive me. Oh no, I'm just gonna go for a payback because I thought that he would switch out into Mew and uh, yeah, that would have been just perfect for me. Payback is gonna be a one hit KO on Zatu, which is fabulous because now I'm rid of that annoying Magic Bounce ability. Unfortunately, Nido Queen has already died, so that means I won't be able to have Stealth Rocks up in this game, which is going to be a major pain in the butt. But um, I will be able to get Leech Sheet off with Shaman, so that kind of comforts me. I'm just going to switch out into that Shaman I was talking about earlier. Right now, he decides to go for, um, for a Will-O-Wisp, which is a very good move in my opinion. Uh, but uh, for me, it's not too bad because my shaman has um, natural cure which means that when he switches out he's gonna be healed anyway I'm gonna go for lead cheat right now because I want to get some leftovers and lead cheat recovery and he's just gonna go for a roost um, next turn he's probably going to switch out um, so I'm should be able to uh, get off another lead cheat um, or I can just go for um, a seed flare because it's just gonna do great damage to anything that comes in and he goes into flag on and I'm like yes seed flare is gonna hit that guy for sure but my attack misses and that is just terrible for me because I really think it should have been uh, about 70 to 80 percent of damage a single seed flare because I'm actually modest and not timid so yeah this is also uh, a part of the game where I did not get very lucky um, and he's gonna go for a U-turn, so that's gonna be super effective on my Shaman as well. So I'm just gonna switch out, I'm gonna go into Machamp, I'm gonna take both U-turn and Stealth Drugs damage, and he has the opportunity to get the switching advantage, which means that he's gonna go back into Mew, Mew being able to threaten me out with both will -O -Wisp and Psychic. So, like I said, as long as that Mew is out in play, I have no single chance of winning this game. In addition to that, he still has Flygon as his main sweeper, which should actually have been dead already, or at least uh, pretty much injured due to the Seed Flare. But uh, unfortunately for me, that did not happen. I'm gonna switch back into Shaman, and he's just gonna go for a Psychic. He's gonna get the special defense drop as well. And now that I think of it, he did get a lot of hacks in this game on his side. <laughs> now that I see this game a second time, it's just, yeah, obvious that he gets so much but whatever I'm not gonna complain about it I'm just gonna go for uh, a protect because I wanna get some leftovers recovery um, 
I'm just gonna switch up, then go into Slowbro, predicting him to go for another Psychic. And with the special defense drop, I would not have been able to take that pretty good with Shaman. So yeah, Slowbro is gonna resist it. So Slowbro is the better choice to switch into now. Anyway, he's gonna go for a Will Wisp right now. I'm gonna avoid. I'm gonna go for a Toxic, and I totally forgot about Muse Synchronize ability, which is going to poison my Slowbro as well. So. The crits for him keep accumulating while the mistakes or bad plays that is are just accumulating for me and it keeps getting harder and harder to win this battle or at least get a grip of it because I haven't been in a good position at all during this entire match. So I'm just gonna go for a surf because I figured yeah if it comes to a stall wars one is gonna switch out eventually. If it's gonna be me, if it's gonna be him I have no idea frankly but it's just gonna do. Yeah I'm just gonna be able to get off a stall wars anyway. I'm just gonna switch out right now because I don't want to take a Mega Horn in my way. So I'm just gonna switch out into Spiritomb. I'm pretty sure that Spiritomb is going to be able to take that Mega Horn because I'm part Ghost and Dark, which means it's gonna be neutral damage. But uh, yeah, then I see how much that did to me, and that actually did a lot, which is not good. Um, now I see that he switches into armor, and I'm not really sure what to predict of it. I'm just gonna switch out because I know that he that my sucker punch is just going to do pathetic damage on that guy and uh, the thing I should have done there was go for another trick so if I can give you one advice that uh, has got me through this battle is go for a trick as fast as possible when you have it on your Pokemon just go for it first turn so that you get rid of it and yeah just then keep on playing I guess now um, I, I just went for a payback there because I thought that he would switch out into Mew, but now he decides to stay in, so this guy is just playing with me, fooling with me, um, which is not too good. I'm just going to go for a Dynamic Punch right now because I thought, yeah, it's super effective, it's step and it has 150 base power, so it's definitely going to finish him off. But then I forgot about his sturdy ability, and I'm like, okay, okay, he might hit himself in confusion, so then I'll get rid of that sturdy ability, and that is what's going to happen. Luckily for me, I get some hacks on my side um, after all those minutes rambling about how good this guy is. I'm finally going to get something in return, which is awesome. He's going to switch into Mew right now. Like I said before, I think I've almost said it 20 times or so. I don't want to take a Psychic on the face, so I'm just going to switch out into Slowbro. Unfortunately for me, he, uh, my Slowbro does not have Regenerator, which would have come more in handy in this match. Um, but now he goes for another Psychic, and he gets another special defense drop, and I'm like, dude... What the hell is going on? And I usually don't say dude because I think it's awkward, but now I said dude, what the hell are you doing? So he's going to switch out and I'm just going to go for a slack off, I guess, if I'm correct. Yeah, I'm just going to go for a slack off. He's going to switch out into his uh, battle bug and I'm just going to switch out into Spiritomb if I'm correct because Spiritomb is going to die uh, due to the stealth trucks anyway and that means I'm just going to have a free switch in. So, yeah, um, we get some after-turn effects, blah, blah, blah. I'm just going to switch out. He's going to pursue me, and I'm like, what the hell, guys? What's happening right here? This guy's just toying with me. So I'm just going to go into Spiritomb, and Spiritomb is going to die. Slowbro is going to get a buttload of damage due to that pursuit, which is actually not stab on this uh, battle buck, and he doesn't even have choice ban, so that just did a lot. I'm just going to go into Machamp because I think it's the best switch. Um, I'm just going to go for Dynamic Punch, not taking any risks anymore. Dynamic Punch being super effective should be able to do a decent amount, but it doesn't quite kill him, and this kind of shows what kind of a beast this Escavalier is. But once again, I get a um, Confusion hit. At least he gets a Confusion hit. I'm just benefiting from that Confusion hit. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of satisfied, but not too satisfied because things are not looking great for me. I'm just going to go for another Dynamic Punch, but uh, even though I kill him, my Toxic damage is just racking up. And see, this is the reason why I carry Slowbro with own tempo, uh, with Psychic and uh, Surf on my team, because if you face this kind of Machamps, these can be a pain in the butt. How many Pokemon did I already kill with Machamp? Two? Three? I'm kind of lost. I didn't count, but it's kind of a lot. So now I'm going to switch back into Slowbro, knowing that the Psychic is coming. If it goes for a Will-O-Wisp, then I'm just going to dodge it. 
Now I'm just hoping, just begging that I will survive another psychic, and I'm just gonna go for slack off, knowing that um, I need to do something. I need to recover my hit points as fast as possible. So I'm really hoping that this psychic uh, won't kill me. I'm gonna survive. It only did 60 hit points of damage, which is just pathetic if you ask me. But um, I'm just gonna go for another slack off. I'm just narrating at this point of the match where my throat is getting sore and I really need a drink, but I can't move my but I can't move because I need to narrate, so ha <laughs> ha you guys are so lucky. Um so so what has happened so far? I'm getting kinda lazy. He's gonna switch out now. I'm just here with slow bro. Um I'm just gonna go for another slack off because I just want to recover hit points as fast as possible um, but here I shouldn't have been too greedy I just should have gone for the serve because I think it would have done a good chunk of damage on that Flygon and if my Seed Flare would have hit then uh, things would have looked even better for me he's gonna go for an Outrage right now Outrage is gonna do a, a good chunk of damage to me it actually did more than I predicted because this guy is just bold full investment in hit points in defense so I was kind of thinking why it did so much but uh, he's gonna go for another outrage that is definitely going to finish me off um, I was kind of hoping that he got confusion right now and he does which is epic um, I'm just gonna switch into shaman now hoping to survive at least uh, yeah hoping that he will hit himself in confusion again but he's gonna go for an outrage and he's gonna hit and at that amount of hit points my shaman is not gonna take that with uh, relative ease so he's gonna die my last pokemon is my champ he's going to be able to survive one outrage just barely i'm gonna be able to get off some ice punches at this flygon which means that flygon is going to die but then he'll just come in with his mew the pokemon that has been annoying me for the entire game Oh no, sorry, <laughs> not necessary, he just finished me off with Flygum. So this was the game, I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out the video that is displayed right now. And now we're just going to continue to my question of the day. For today's question of the day I'm going to ask what is your favorite rock type Pokemon of the Kanto region? If I remember correctly there were only a few rock type Pokemon in this Kanto region, including Geodude, Golem, Onyx, Rhydon, Omastar, Kabutops, Aerodactyl, I think those are the ones. Um, my favorite rock type Pokemon was Rhydon. To be honest, I just love Rhydon, the sprite of it, the looks of it. Rhydon is just my all time favorite. I used to use it um, on uh, yeah, Pokemon Battle Stadium and all those other Pokemon games you had on GameCube and such. But yeah, now I'm just going to ask you, what is your favorite Rock-type Pokemon from the Kanto region? Be sure to leave your answer in the comment section below. And see you in my next battle. Be sure to check out my Facebook and Twitter. And see you on another day. Bye, guys.